has been a while since I've talked about or done a shop or drop on the new makeup that's been launching and it's been slow-ish but really valuable nice juicy products that I want to talk about that have definitely caught my eye maybe in a good way maybe in a bad way so as always I'm going to head over to Trend Mood One's Instagram page to share with you and chat about the newest makeup products that are launching that have caught my eye if you're new to shop or drop I'm going to tell you which items I will be shopping for or dropping them from my shopping list it's very interesting to see which products come up for the current sale season that is happening and underway but let's get into it here we are trend mood ones instagram it's been like months since i've done this but i don't want to go back too far i'm going to get started with this one because i was asked a couple times in my dms if i'll be reviewing the new too faced born this way mini eyeshadow palette and I actually did receive this in PR recently, so I don't know if I'm actually going to open them up. Kind of depends on what videos I have planned, but I had no intentions of purchasing this. So with that being said, it is a drop. I do have it in my collection and it's not even anything that I'm prioritizing filming with. If it fits in with a certain concept, potentially. But let's talk about these first, but it is a drop. So they launched two six shade eyeshadow palettes inspired by the beauty of real skin tones. Now, I don't know if these shades are repetitive or not. I haven't done my research into these, but we have a warm ember nudes and a cold smolder nudes and I mean look at this this is a cold smolder this is right up my alley in terms of a color story that I would enjoy I think that these look very beautiful uh, I think Too Faced formula in general can be a little hit or miss so that would be why I would want to review it for you guys for those of you who are interested because these do look beautiful. They look practical for the everyday makeup wearer. Uh, but it's not personally a launch that I was interested in. And I'll be upfront about that. Would not have spent my own money on it. But if you do see me reviewing it, it's because I, I have it placed into my hands. Which is the purpose of PR, you know. That's why they do it. But I think they're very pretty. But nothing special. The packaging is kind of giving like the Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes from back in the day where they had that cardboard packaging. Anyways, they look nice, they look practical, but they aren't anything that's caught my eye. Alright guys, I hope that you are prepping. It's that time again for the Sephora savings event. I will be doing a Sephora week of videos. So prep yourselves because I always have complaints about the comments that all she talks about is Sephora. This is a fun week for me. It's really fun to conceptualize videos around this week since Sephora is the spot that I always purchase my makeup from. But anyways, be prepped for that. I'm starting to make my list. April 5th is going to start off with Rouge and the sale is going on until April 15th. This, this will be a shop for me. I'm already prepping my video. I will be shopping this. So keep an eye out because I will be sharing some videos, hauls, recommendations, favorites, misses, all of that good stuff. So keep an eye out. Very much excited about this. Gucci Beauty launching a cushion foundation. I have a weak spot for Gucci Beauty. It's a 24-hour hydrating luminous foundation. The packaging looks very kind of gaudy but like i like it a lot i've been a little delayed recently on picking up my gucci stuff but i do have interest in shopping this so it's going to be a tentative shop sometimes cushion foundations like kind of weird me out a little bit i feel like they're kind of gross not that i'm normally bothered by that stuff let's see here Designed to deliver up to 24-hour hydration, enriched with high-reflection index oils, black blahs, blah, blah, blah. There's SPF 20, $51 each. I don't have any detail. It's available now. Oh, well, I guess that puts me on the spot. I don't really want to purchase it right now, but I do want to have it eventually. It's a tentative shop. I think it will be in my collection eventually, but now is not the time. Okay, I did get asked about this. Super Goop launched these Protect Tint Daily Skin Tints. Now, I did receive these in PR. Would I have purchased these 
if I hadn't had received them in PR. It would not have been at full price, but it would have been during the Sephora savings event because I love Super Goop products so much. So I'm definitely intrigued by this one. I can't wait to dig into this one. I think I'm going to film like a trying new Sephora makeup soon. So this one might be included in that video. That's right now where I'm planning to use it, but it is a daily skin tint. From what I can see, it looks like it's not going to have very much coverage. Uh, created to leave skin looking immediately smooth and even, 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 while delivering effective SPF 50 protection. Hyaluronic acid in, infused, zinc oxide. This just looks wonderful, doesn't it? It is available right now, but I would recommend holding off because it's going to go on sale no matter what Sephora tier you are, if you can save a little bit of money. But this is one that did catch my eyes. I have been enjoying a skin tint. I'm not the target audience for a skin tint because I do like coverage. But you know what? Sometimes I do like a skin tint. So this one was a shot for me. I'm excited about this one. Luckily, it came in the mail before I had to press order. Oh my gosh, now this one is also a shop for me. I don't know if these are available quite yet. Doesn't look like it. Liquid Blushes, Sun Kisser Blush from Maybelline. It is in the iconic Maybelline Lifter Gloss packaging. And they did that on purpose for people like me who loves the Lifter Gloss. I see this, I'm immediately drawn to it with my eyes because I know it's a product I love just based on the packaging. So this is an easy to use liquid blush. Provides a natural sun kissed glow, blends 20 hour wear, all right now. Natural sun kissed glow, so I bet you it's gonna be like shimmery and sheer. This is right up my alley. Definitely will be shopping this. Hopefully it comes to Ulta and I can pick it up, but I am super interested in this. This one looked really good to me. Oh my goodness. Let's talk about this new NARS collection. NARS with Love. I am so proud of myself that I passed on that most recent eyeshadow palette that was haunting me, I felt like, because I was confident in passing it because I'd seen it before, but then I was seeing it everywhere. I was really tempted and I ultimately didn't, didn't buy it. And this one is not not appealing to me. So we have a number of different products here. This is going to be the ultimate face palette and I'm a sucker for a good NARS face palette. NARS is one of my favorite brands to review so I'm gonna say drop but don't hold it against me if I find myself in a weak situation and do decide to purchase this. The cards all need to be aligned though. This doesn't look anything special to me though. It doesn't look like my favorite formula from NARS because there's a specific baked gelée formulation that they do that I would purchase in a heartbeat. This doesn't look like it is. We also have a eyeshadow quad. This doesn't look like a quad though. Oh, maybe this is an eyeshadow quad. Okay, that makes more sense, but that's still very boring looking. And then this might be the ultimate face palette, which also, like, don't I have this? I feel like I do. Is this a setting powder or a blush? I don't know what these photos are. But there is also, like, a cushion foundation, which NARS does a good complexion product, so I'd be intrigued by that. Power Matte Lipstick. Eyeshadow Sticks with Matte Finish. Yeah, even though I am an eyeshadow stick girl now. Oh, this collection doesn't scream to me. It screams like the same stuff NARS has been launching for a long, long time now. I don't, I don't know who's in charge of NARS, and I don't want to offend them because I'm sure they know more than I do, but let's refresh it a little bit, you know? Not refresh and repeat, but just refresh it. I feel like NARS used to be a little bit more fun back in the day, and now it's rinse and repeat with a lot of these products, but maybe they'll be more beautiful in person. Like I said, don't hold it against me if I do need to do some detective work on this. Wait, okay, so this product from Too Faced like actually did catch my eye. I'm a sucker for a bronzing sculpting stick. I'm a sucker for the Too Faced chocolate bronzer line because I have such a sweet tooth. I love anything chocolate themed. So this one was like a rando one that I'm like, mm, give it to me. So this is a cream bronzer and sculpting stick. It's already in my cart waiting to be purchased for the Sephora sale. So that's a shop for me. Chocolate mousse, chocolate souffle, chocolate caramel, chocolate lava. The names 
are delightful. I really hope it smells like chocolate. I might find myself taking a bite out of it. Kidding. But I love a cream bronzer. I just feel like they become one with the skin and look so smooth. Oh, I'm excited about this one. It's probably one that nobody asked for, but I'm here for it. That's a shop for me. Ooh, okay. Look at this from Dior. This looks like it's a leaked launch of the Dior Summer 2024 collection. Now, when I first saw this, right, new Dior blush colors, I was literally like, where? <laughs> This just looks like the normal pink. This just looks like the normal coral with fancier names. So new blushes wear. But when I saw this advertisement, at least with the lilac shade, I can see it now, right? That looks a little different. It looks like it's going to be unflattering for a lot of different skin tones. The coral shade still doesn't look new to me, but I'll have to compare it. Okay, so this is a shop for me especially the lilac color. Are these new lip oils too? So each color includes four products. Rosy Glow Blush, a lip maximizer, a lip glow oil, and then a lip glow, which I don't think I, I only have like one of those. I'm kind of interested in this. I'm not gonna lie. It's a typical luxury kind of ploy where they just like launch the same things the same colors but they might have me here i love dior that's the problem here this is a shop this is me you seeing me being weak here i'm excited for it even though i know i shouldn't be i'm excited for it so it's a shop and you can leave your judgments over there thank you how do you pronounce this brand gisu gisu anyways I really like their honey hair oil. They launched three new shades of their hydrating lip oils, which I have not tried, but this caught my eye because I like the packaging. These I do have in my cart to purchase for the Sephora sale. I'm literally just giving myself away here. But this sparkling pink, which I know is just gonna run clear on the lips, I want it. I want to pull this out of my purse. Like I want to feel like an aesthetic cool girl and I think that this pink gloss will make me feel closer to that. So I love a lip oil and I hope that these are thick. Please be thick. I will let you know and keep you updated if this is up to par with what I prefer. But this, such a cute launch. I love the packaging. I love the aesthetic of this brand. I'm kind of dipping my toes into this brand. So and the hair oil is good. So maybe the lip oil will be good. And it actually like smells like honey too. So hopefully this one does as well. This is a shot for me. I'm very interested in this for no reason but i am here's another look at that dior collection this looks like a whole different collection oof that eyeshadow palette i might have to pick that up this one no i don't need that one but this one i'm gonna have to pick that up that looks right up my alley and then look see this collection looks different in every single photo this looks super purple Except for this one. This one still looks like the original coral blush. The purple blush. Huh? <laughs> wow. No pigment whatsoever. <laughs> Why are these swatching so bad? Ugh. If anything... I gotta do some research to give you guys the tea. Oh, 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 okay, two more things. I'm so excited that Pat McGrath is launching my favorite under eye powder in a pink shade. I've been a little mad at Pat McGrath lately, as you guys might have been able to tell, but this is literally my favorite powder. Well, I say that about a number of powders, but this is my favorite pressed under eye powder. I don't normally like a pressed powder on my under eyes. This is the best, and they're launching it in a pink shade. This is a absolute shop. I love wearing a pink powder like this when I have on a pink blush. And I love this powder so much. I think I've purchased like seven or eight of these powders in my time because I keep breaking them and I don't care. I keep buying them because they're very, very, very soft and fragile. Shop, excited for my pink looks. Will be available April 1st. I will be buying that. Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to talk about, I am so intrigued by this new Rare Beauty launch. It is the Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush. I wonder how closely related this is going to be to the highlight formulation, which is one of my all-time favorite highlights. She says it's like a mixture of that with her liquid blushes. 
we'll see about that but this is a shot for me oh my gosh yeah transformed our favorite blush colors into our favorite highlight formula so that's exactly what I was thinking it was gonna be I do have concerns about how this is going to look over pores and textured skin so I definitely will be investigating that but just as eye candy my eyes are well fed with these these look stunning the pink shades I'm like actually drooling over these. I think they look so pretty. And just knowing how much I love the highlighter formulation, I cannot wait to get these on my cheek. Here's some of their promo photos. Look at Selena's glowy face. Now I know you can't really trust promo photos. I don't know if I'm gonna get every shade because that's just super unnecessary. But how can I pick? Like, I mean, how can I choose? Like that cheer shade looks like it would be a highlight on me, but like a good bridge between a highlight and a blush. Um, I might just have to like close my eyes and add a couple shades to cart <laughs> because I don't know how I'm going to be able to pick, but these look stunning. Like here's some swatches on an arm. Like I would probably skip out on the deepest shade and then the first and third shade and then the second and fourth shade they look similar to one another so that's one of those situations where you truly don't need all four of those shades you can go with the two but i'm not good at picking shades when the decisions is made for me but i'm shopping these i am so excited for these these i have a lot of faith in that they're going to be good hopefully they added a little bit more pigment and maybe like dulled the shine a little bit just for the purpose of it being a blush but we'll see oh and this is random this literally was just announced three hours ago beauty balm from abh it's launching march 28th i hope it comes to sephora because i would pick that up i mean i'm not like dying of interest from this but abh has been having some like interesting under the radar launches and i don't know like complexion stuff that has launched this year has been so good in general i just filmed the worst makeup of 2024 and i only had one complexion product that's how good complexion has been so i feel like since they're kicking butt i need to see if this is another good one any users that is just some um commentary that i had about some of the new makeup that is launching let me know your thoughts about these launches down below are you gonna shop them are you gonna drop them do you disagree? Do you agree with what I have to say? I'd love to hear it. Let's get some conversation going down in the comments. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel to see what I actually do end up picking up because these shopper drops, I lie all the time. I always change my opinion. So <laughs> stay tuned to see what actually comes to fruition. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a fabulous day. Bye guys.